Good morning, Les Miller here. Beautiful spring day. Apple trees blossoming nicely. Wanted to announce this morning that by the grace of God, I am going to be making more videos in the Science, the Bible, and Life on Other Planets Bible series. Coming soon, Science Film 5, the real reason why evolution is so popular today, Science Film 6, Rise of the Remnant, and Science Film 7, The Essence of Adventism. This represents um, one of the most wonderful experiences I've had in the last 12 years making videos. I've had some version of Bible Proof There's Life on Other Planets online, whether it's a blog post or one of these videos um, for, well, I guess since about 2009. And it's something I'm really, really happy about because this is basically the biggest burden of my heart. As I said in Science Film 4, I was uh, four years old when they landed on the moon and my parents were newly divorced I didn't see my dad much from that point on. Uh, Captain Kirk kind of uh, became a father figure for me in a way. And not just uh, the individual character, but the hope that Gene Roddenberry had presented in Star Trek. And now the hope that people in my generation had, seeing the moon landings, we believed this could come true. I didn't know at the time, of course, that his show was the vehicle for putting forth his ideas uh, based on secular humanism, which is basically anti-Christian, anti-religious. And that anti-religious bias, um, you look over the course of Star Trek's history, you see it show up here and there. Of course, I meet a lot of guys like me who were into science fiction, who were into, you know, I wasn't into, com I wasn't into comic books myself, but yeah, science fiction, comic books, uh, fantasy things, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, Star Wars, things like that. And, and I feel a kinship with them because I've grown up in that same mindset, but yet God has worked to give me the true hope for mankind, the true spirituality, which is contained in the Advent message. What the Seventh-day Adventist Church is bringing to the world, what God has given to us as a people, is far beyond anything that science could ever promise people. You and I live in a much larger, much older universe. And I just, I'm reminded of that quote from uh, early writings. Didn't uh, bring the book with me here today, but you know the quote I'm talking about where Ellen White says that she was taken to a world with seven moons. But what did she see there? Creatures, beings, I don't know if you could call them people or not, but intelligent creatures who were at total peace, total peace with themselves because their consciences were clear. They'd never strayed away from 100% following the will of God, which therefore led to total peace with each other. Well-developed, structured civilizations are out there, millions of them, and they're also at peace all together in one happy universe that God says that we are going to be a part of in the end if we will stay true to Jesus. It's a Sabbath morning now. I'll be getting ready for church in a few minutes, but um, just wanted to send this message to you, ask you to pray for the success of this project. If you've seen all four of the videos so far and when they're all seven are done, you follow the flow of logic through that's what it's designed to do. Take someone who believes in evolution, doesn't understand that while science says you don't need any kind of religion anymore, the person has substituted science fiction for the spirituality they once had. Trying to take that kind of person, showing them step by step that the Bible's account of creation is something they can believe that the universe is at peace, that there's hope for the future, that there's lots of scientific knowledge in the Bible. And now in these last three videos to take them to a point where 
they create and it, it creates in them an openness to receive the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, which will be the grand conclusion of the whole series. This, again, the burden of my heart. I pray it will be the burden of your heart. As you've seen these videos before, I pray you'll continue to share them, to watch them, to take their ideas and promote them everywhere. Let's get thousands of people to understand the true worldview of not just us here, but the whole universe and what's out there waiting for us when Jesus comes to take us home.